Giuseppe Caribroli. Thank you for tuning in to the Season 11 Thanksgiving episode. Have you ever wondered how you can bring the heat to the Thanksgiving table? Or maybe spice up the bland and boring spread? Well, I'm going to tell you how. You're going to bring a jalapeno cornbread. Now, in terms of ingredients, you're going to need the following. You're going to need some fine ground cornmeal. You're going to need some all-purpose flour. You're going to need some milk. You're going to need some buttermilk. You're going to need some baking soda and baking powder. You're going to need some chili powder and some butter. You're going to need one egg and some vegetable shortening. Of course, you're going to need three jalapenos. And finally, you're going to need some sugar. Now, in terms of hardware, you're going to need the following. You're going to need two mixing bowls. You're going to need a measuring cup and some measuring sp spoons. You're going to need a whisk and a swatted spoon, as well as a sharp, preferably serrated knife. You're going to need a cutting board. And finally, you're going to need an all-metal pan. Now, I have a cast iron here, but you don't need to use a cast iron if you don't have one. Any all-metal pan that can go in the oven is good to use. Starting us off is step number one. And step number one, as always, is going to be wash your hands. Now, you're going to want to pay close attention to this step. Because we're working with jalapenos, you're going to want to wash your hands multiple times throughout the recipe so you don't get hot juices in your eyes. So, go ahead, turn the water on. Stick your hands underneath, get them nice and moist. Once your hands are nice and wet, squirt some soap on. My preference is two squirts. Rub that soap all around, get in between the fingers, get on the back of the knuckles, get underneath the fingernails. Stick your soapy hands back under the water and wash all that soap off. Once you can your hands are nice and clean, you can turn the water off, flick your fingers out, grab a towel, and dry your hands. And then we're ready to cook. Moving on to step number two. And step number two is gonna be make your dry mix. Now, for your dry mix into one of your mixing bowls, you're gonna add a cup of cornmeal. Then a half cup flour. Once you finish with those, you're gonna add a tablespoon each of sugar. Baking powder. And chili powder. And finally, for your dry mix, a half teaspoon of baking soda. Then you can mix that all together. When you're finished, you should have a fine yellow powder. All right, moving on to step number three, and step number three is gonna be make your wet mix. Now, for your wet mix, you're gonna add one cup of buttermilk, one half cup of whole milk, one egg, and a quarter cup of vegetable shortening that you've melted. And then you're just gonna beat that all together. So just go ahead and break your egg yolk. 
and then beat together your milk and your egg and your sugar. Just like that. Once you've got both a wet and a dry mixture, you're ready for step number four. And step number four is going to be mix your mixtures. So what you're going to do is just little by little, beat your wet mixture into your dry mixture, like so. Once you've got your batter combined, it should look a little something like this. Once your batter is complete, you can set it aside and move on to step number five. And step number five is going to be cut and cook your jalapenos. Now, before you cut up your jalapenos, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. So, I have advised you to use three jalapenos. You might only need two depending on how large they are. So. For two of your jalapenos, you're going to cut them up and dice them and throw them in the pan. And for one, you're going to cut it into nice rounds. I'll show you what I mean. So, for your diced jalapeno, you're just going to cut the end off of both sides. Then you can get to cutting it up into small little bits. Now, once you've diced one of your jalapenos, you can make a judgment call. You can either take the second jalapeno and dice that as well to go into the bread, or you can slice it into rounds to decorate the top of it, along with your third jalapeno. You also have a choice to make in terms of the seeds. Now, the seeds are where a lot of the heat comes from on a jalapeno. So, if you take the seeds out of your cornbread, or out of the jalapenos before you cook them, your cornbread won't be as spicy. So I've diced up one and a half of my jalapenos, and I'm going to slice the other one and a half jalapenos into rounds. I'll show you how to do that now. Once you've got all of your jalapenos sliced and diced, you're going to want to dispose of your excess jalapeno seeds. Especially if you have pets, you want to make sure you get every single seed off the counter, off the floor, off your knife, and throw them out. So, just go ahead. And get rid of all those seeds. Once you've done, I would also highly advise taking the time to wash your hands. That way you don't accidentally touch your eye or nose with your jalapeno hands. Continuing with step number five, we're going to cook our jalapenos that we diced. So, into your pan, you're gonna add two tablespoons of butter and your diced jalapenos. So, go ahead, add two tablespoons of butter, turn the heat on, and once that butter melts, you can throw your diced jalapenos into the pan. So, using a slotted spoon, you've got to carefully take your jalapeno out of your pan. And you can dump it right into your bag. Now, the reason you scoop the jalapenos out instead of just pouring the butter and jalapenos into the batter is because you've essentially just buttered this pan with jalapeno butter. That's going to help the bread not stick in the oven. So, go ahead and mix up your jalapenos in your batter right now.
Moving on to step number seven. And step number seven is gonna be add your batter back to your pan. Once you've got your diced jalapenos in your batter, you can pour that back into the hot pan. It should sizzle a little bit. Once your batter's in your pan, you're gonna place your sliced jalapenos on the top, all right? Now that your batter's in your hot skillet, you're gonna take your sliced jalapenos and evenly distribute them on the top. Once all of your ingredients are in the pan, you're ready to stick it in the 450 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. All right, folks, so it's been 25 minutes. Let's open our oven and do the old toothpick test on the cornbread. to me folks so let's take our cornbread out and let it cool on the counter for a few minutes you can put it on a stove so it can cool down in a heat proof place now it's time for the final step which is going to be plating now in terms of plating you can do one of two things you can either serve it right in the cast iron gives it a nice rustic feel or you can hit it with the old double flip to put it on a plate. I'll show you what I mean. So get yourself two plates and your cornbread in your pan. We're gonna start by doing one flip. So put the plate on top of your pan. And flip it over. That was the first flip. Then you can take your second plate, put it on top, and do the double flip. And just like that, you've got your jalapeno cornbread. Now it's time for a little taste test. And if you can't handle the heat, I recommend a glass of milk. So, go ahead, take your knife, cut yourself a little slice of cornbread. Once you've got yourself a slice, you can add a little bit of butter or a little bit of like a jam spread, totally up to you. Me, I'm gonna go in for a raw bite. So, go ahead, pick up your cornbread and shove it in your face hole. <coughs> it's very hot. Um, But delicious! That concludes the Thanksgiving special of Cooking Corner with me, Giuseppe Cremivroli. I hope you can handle the heat. I certainly know I couldn't. If you like this video, leave a like below so I know I did a good job. If there's something you want to see on the channel, leave it in the comments and I'll try to make it for you. If you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I'm putting out new content all the time. Have a happy Thanksgiving and bye bye now.